Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sony Singh, and today I'm going to teach you the chapter nine, the movement and its body of class sixth. But before start the chapter, I'm going to make you remind that if still you are not subscribe our channel, then please first subscribe our channel. I hope regularly you are watching the videos, so you are liking also. Press the like button, hit the bell icon to find out the first notification from our channel. So let's start the chapter. There is the chapter 9, the body and its movement. Before we start the body, about the body, first we will discuss about the organism. What is organism? According to the cells, there are two kinds of organism. Unicellular and multicellular. Now, what is unicellular? Unique sound like a unique, like one single when we are discuss about the single unit un, uh, single cell animal it's called unicellular and when we will discuss about the multicellular animals are called multicellular okay so unicellular examples are amoeba bacteria paramecium and multicellular is plant and animals okay all kind of uh, animal and plants are multicellular make with the help of lots of cells so next there this graph is show you how a animal or a plant or organism made with the help of cell there is a cell the animal cell are there you can see in your hand there is a hair so it is a single cell so in our body lots of cells are there so when these cells are mixed together the same cells are mixed together and to form tissue okay and these tissue are making a organ and these organs are making an organ system and different kind of organ system mixed together and to form an organism. Example, I am showing you that in our body, there is a cell. Okay, when the same cells are mixed together to form the tissue, soft tissue, hard tissue, this kind of tissues. And these tissues are making organ like lungs. Lungs are the organ. Okay, and when lungs mix together with the air duct, heart, connect with the vein and arteries it to form a respiratory system what is respiratory system and these kind of system various kind of system in our body like digestive system excretory system respiratory system circulatory system nervous system skeletal system excretory system these kind of systems are mixed together and to form a complete body pack and it's called organism same way in plant also there is a cell this is a plant cell this is animal cell plant cell and animal cell have different okay so these cells are making tissue tissue makes organ like leaf and organ system like the collection of leaves group of leaves branch we can say and uh, this to form a complete plant clear this is skeletal system the skeletal system gives a framework what is frame you can see with the help of a skeletal we got a frame means how long how tall we will how over shoulder how over leg so with the help of this framework a person have height okay and these framework gives a shape and size to our body here you can see the picture first is skull then jaw bone there is two jaw lower jaw and upper jaw lower jaw we can move and upper jaw immovable mean which can't move there is a collar bone or shoulder blade this is shoulder blade this is collar bone this is the breast bone or chest bone and uh, this is called ribs rib cage you can see there cage like structure it's called rib cage and this is humerus the hand in hand it found humerus this is the ba from back side to this side it's called backbone okay this is called backbone this or ulna what is this there are two bones radius and ulna and its side it's called pelvic or hip bone okay this is the longest bone in our body it's called femur and there are the hand also have different bo uh, bo bones are called carpus metacarpus and there is a kneecap this is the two bones it's called tibio and fibula same way in leg also there are bones metacarpus carpus clear any doubt 
so there in this picture we have discussed about the full skeleton now the skeleton also divided into different part whatever i told you i am going to discuss about them the skeleton is divided into two form that is cranium and that is a face bone theek hai cranium cranium it's a flat bones which look like a zipper means if you will see so this uh, this flat bone this flat bone this flat bone uh, joined together with the help of zipper look like okay and uh, it protect our brain what is it protect our brain now facial bone we have 22 facial bones in our face so it have a lower jaw and upper jaw okay what is have lower jaw and upper jaw same way i told you lower jaw can move but upper jaw immovable now chest bones what is have chest bones or ribs we can say there are 12 pair of chest bone this side also this side also chest bone which make with the help of backbone what is with the help of backbone theek okay? hai next shoulder blade shoulder bones what is shoulder bone shoulder bones make collar bone and shoulder blade which is flat or large structure okay clear next backbone we have 33 small ring like vertebral columns ring like 33 these are 33 which have which is very movable means stretchable we can move our body with the help of these 33 segments means when we stand we can move from back side move our body move our uh, full backbone so with the help of a small small ring so we, you never say that backbone is a complete bone it is a small small fragment okay and backbone also called vertebral column backbone is called vertebral column clear now limbs there are two limbs leg and hand in in leg there is a longest bone it's called femur what is longest bone is called femur and i told you that leg have tubula and fibula same here hand have humerus and radius and ulna clear now smallest bone is smallest bone is in our ear that is called stapes okay now bones done if bones we have so that means joint should be there otherwise without joint bone look like the pieces of wood what is the pieces of wood so joints mix mix the bones and make a complete movable bones okay so there are four kind of bones joints are there hinge joint hinge joint means it move like a door only one side it can move okay like window like door so in it is found in our elbow or knees you can see move your hand right now so you can find out how it can work now pivot joint it allow to rotate or twist it allow to rotate or twist head okay it found in only neck what is in neck our now move your neck you can find out how it work it making this way okay ball and socket joints allow the greatest freedom to movement ball and socket means we can move every side left right up down and making a circle see there in hip bone and shoulder bone what is hip bone and shoulder bone is have ball and socket joints now gliding joints such as the wrist wrist means kalai in wrist there is gliding joint which can move expect pivotal movement pivotal movement means this way it can move making a, make a circle you can see there okay so clear all the joints we have clear now movement if bones are there joints are there so it is common that now hand or leg should be moved or move so that means we will move to one place to other place for what we need to move for food for shelter for protecting our body so we are moving how it work see there there is a knee oh elbow sorry there is a elbow when elbow joint elbow joint goes to this side so it can move okay same way in other animal also moving with the help of other other kind of limbs and uh, other kind of muscles first we will discuss about the cockroach cockroach have a body structure that is facilitated walking climbing and flying flying have you seen cockroach can walk in our kitchen 
and it can fly also it can climb also it can run also with the help of legs and with the help of wings theek hai it covered with hard outer shelter what is hard outer shelter now earthworm of dogs now earthworm earthworm movement in earth is the outer come of muscular action in them means expand expansion and contraction both kind of muscles when expansion means stretching and compression means again it's moving to back place so with the help of this the earthworm can move same is snail also doing but the snail have this outer covering it's called exoskeleton what is called exoskeleton it is non bony it only protect snail from the predator from the predator okay snail also moving like expansion or contraction next snake snake have slider on the ground with the help of its long backbone okay this way you can see it is moving here to there and in this way it it can move very fast so snake is going on fish with the help of fin tail fin it is moving tail this side this side this side and it push to in the water and it can swim faster next bird bird have light bones it means a bird have a hollow bones light bones which is very strong muscles and it help to fly now uh, bird also limbs means hand or legs doing work so it can bird fly also and walk also clear so in this chapter we have discussed about the organism skeletal system skull shoulder bone backbone ribs limbs movement in cockroach snake or uh, bird and snail this kind of now we are going to finish this chapter but there is a two important things are there ligament and tendon what is ligament the strong ligament like tough elastic band of connective tissue theek okay? hai surrounding the joint to give support and limit the joints movement ligament connect bones together means when we are discuss about the bone or bone so it is called ligament bone or bone ligament now tendon tendon is another type of tough connective tissue on each side of the joint attach the muscles that control movement of the joint its tendons connect the muscles okay like bones are there and there is a muscles so this connection is called tendon what is tendon clear hope this chapter you have understand properly so just check yourself with the help of these questions there are the fill ups joint of bones joints of bones help in the dash of the body what of the body answer is movement of the body what is movement of the body a combination of bones and cartilages form the dash of the body i told you that when the bones and cartilages are mixed together that to form is skeletal what is skeletal system okay the bones of the elbow are joined by the dash joint elbow 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 have hinge joint which joint hinge joint okay next the contraction of the dash pulls the bone during the movement contraction of what contraction of muscles contractions of muscles so we have find out the answer joints of the bone help in the movement of body combination of bones and cartilages form the skeleton of the body bones at the elbow and join with the hinge joint and contraction of the muscles pulls the bone during the movement clear now move to next there is a matching i hope it is a match correctly or incorrectly okay we will find out upper jaw is a immovable joint means upper jaw will never move okay fish fish have fins on the body and have a steam like body okay ribs it protect our heart or lungs snail it has outer shelter and show very slow movement very slow cockroach it can fly in the air or it have outer shelter these are the correct match so with the help of this match you can find out the answer so our chapter is completed now hope you have understand about the full bones also and uh, 
joints and movement on organism if any kind of question in your mind then please comment us if you are liking the video like and again please subscribe our channel thank you so much stay home stay safe bye bye